Hey, what's good guys? Mr. Wise here and welcome to this interesting video. Each and every year we have seen new flagship cameras coming out. Now, before you upgrade to these glorious flagship cameras, I want you to watch this video until the end. Just last year alone, we have seen so many flagship cameras coming out despite the pandemic. Cameras like the RAID Komodo with a whopping 6K sensor. Canon R5 shooting 8K RAW in 12-bit 4K video at 120 frames per second in just this small body. Canon C70 shooting 4K at 120 frames per second. The legendary Sony A1 with 50 megapixel 8K beast. Not forgetting its baby sister, the Sony A7S Mark III which is also video priority camera recording at 4K 120 frames per second with a flip screen. Congratulations, Sony. Finally, you have made one of your cameras with a flip screen. People have been crying for it for quite a long time. And the internet has gone so crazy praising these new flagship cameras and nearly every filmmaker actually wants to get one except me because you have to watch this video until the end. Now, these cameras are ridiculously wonderful in so many ways. For example, the 1DX Mark III, shooting photos at 16 frames per second with autofocus tracking, as well as stably tracking ahead of a person. Look at these beautiful images out of this camera. On the other hand is the Canon C70, a professional cinema camera with 16 stops of dynamic range, shooting slow motion at 120 frames per second in 4K, producing really beautiful cinematic videos. Now taking things even higher, there is a Sony A1 awesome. shooting video in 8K at 30 frames per second. You know, just having this capability of shooting a picture and be able to reframe it without losing detail is mind-blowing. Not only that, take a look at the sharpness of these images. This is insanely beautiful. Not forgetting accurate autofocus when shooting videos and amazing slow motion at 120 frames per second in 4K with Ace Cineton for that cinematic look. Its anchor, the Canon R5, takes all this even higher, shooting videos in 8K RAW, 12 bit at 30 frames per second, plus autofocus for birds, accurate eye detection for humans and animals. These cameras are all amazing. But here is where things begin to fall apart. All this glory comes at a very big cost. So when you are buying these cameras, it's not just the camera that you have bought, but there are other things that you need also to include on top of this camera, like Memory cards for this camera are so expensive, you know, shooting 8K, you're gonna need a lot of memory cards as well as hard drives for your computers. And talking about computers, you're also gonna need bigger computers to be able to handle or to process these 8K videos. Now, that is not even the worst because the moment you decide to buy this camera, it means somehow you already know how you're gonna bypass some of these problems. But then there are other things that you might not be ready for them. The worst is after shooting that glorious, super sharp 8K video, your client wants you to convert that video for Instagram or Facebook. As if that is not enough, after shooting that 8K video, your client doesn't even have a 4K screen. They only use HD displays. Or maybe somehow the client might have a 4K display, but what about the majority of the audience that is going to see that video? They're still using HD displays, even social media platforms. Mostly they still convert all the videos to HD. So that whole stress of you trying to come up with 8K video, putting so much money on computers, hard drives, storage, and all this. To cut the long story short, at the moment, all your 8K video effort will just really go unnoticed. And there is this hypothesis that when you downscale your video from 8K or maybe from 4K to HD, then your HD video will look more sharper. No, 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 no. That is a lie. I tested it myself. I took the GH2 and the GH5 and compared them side by side. I even shot some videos in 4K and some videos in HD and I tried to downscale videos from 4K to HD and looked at that HD. 
believe me or not hd still looks like hd there isn't really like oh now it is coming from 4k in hd to look sharper hd will just look hd i tested it myself side by side i didn't see any sharp hd from 4k now someone here is wondering so my guy what is your point my point is subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and if you want to be part of the massive giveaway that is happening at the end of the month please share this video on your timeline details in the video linked below the like button and you might as well like this video now my real point is cameras do not make videos it is people who make videos bruce lee once pointed a finger in the sky to show his student how glorious the sky was looking but instead of his student look at the sky the student was looking at the finger and this is the advice which bruce lee give to his student don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory now a camera is like a finger that is pointing towards a glorious sky and the video is like that glorious stars in the sky do not focus on the camera itself focus on the video that you are trying to create the art and creativity of the video the storyline the sound the light these are the things that make a good video cameras really come at the very end just to capture that whole thing new flagship cameras with massive specs do not improve your creativity or do not make you a better filmmaker if you fail to create a better video with the camera that you have now even if they gave you a 12k camera or an 8k camera you still fail to create a better video because creating better video is not dependent on the camera it's dependent on you as a filmmaker at the end people will not say the story of your video is bad because you are using an old camera you know if the story of your video or the art and the creativity that has gone into your video is really good even if you used an old camera people will still watch that video until the end my whole point is most filmmakers nowadays they are really focused on getting these flagship cameras with massive hybrid specs for getting to be creative and the other thing that you need to notice is the majority of people are still using hd screens you know so they will not really appreciate 8k 6k or even 4k videos so don't put yourself in that stress of oh man i need this 6k camera oh i need this 8k camera you know people they are still really on hd and hd is really just still fine at the moment at least at least for the next five years so just get a camera that you are just really comfortable with it doesn't matter whether it's hd just go with that focus on your creativity learn to get the most out of your camera learn to work with your camera not against your camera and I'm not saying that you shouldn't really focus on getting better or bigger cameras if you have the luxury to get a bigger camera if you have the funds and you can bypass all the other issues that comes with it I can advise you to go for it if you have created a very wonderful story and you use an 8k camera to shoot that wonderful story it is an advantage and I believe at the moment somewhere there is a fraction of people in this world that will really appreciate that crispy and sharpness in the video so it's not really a bad thing it's not really like oh no gear doesn't matter don't buy no what i don't want is you to stress to say oh no i need a bigger camera that's when i'll become more creative you can just really be creative with just the camera that you have it's not really like once you have this flagship camera that's when you become more creative or no 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 no. stop worrying about the camera start worrying about creating really good videos this is it i'll catch you in the next video peace